Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto, your home for the most detailed motorcycle content on the net. Thank you so much for tuning in today and if you're new here, I really hope you'll consider subscribing if you find content like this valuable. So today, here's what I have in store for you. A lot of you have asked me to review more of the riding gear that I like to use and that I have been using. So we are going to have a detailed breakdown and comparison between the current model, and by when I say current model, uh, late 2022 is when I'm filming this, September of 2022, Climb Badlands Pro and the Climb Carlsbad. So these are both waterproof Gore-Tex, very high level, high end uh, riding suits. Now, a couple things before I jump in. One is that I am not sponsored by Climb. I do receive a discount on Climb products, but I receive a discount on lots of other riding gear and parts from other companies as well because I work in the motorcycle industry. But I don't have a riding gear sponsor, so I'm pretty unbiased when it comes to reviewing the gear. Second, whenever you're buying riding gear, whether you're gonna buy a climb suit, a Revit suit, any piece of riding gear parts or parts or accessories, please use my affiliate links below in my video description and comments because it's a way to support this channel that doesn't cost you anything. All right, so let's jump in and start comparing the main differences between these two riding suits. Now here's how I'm gonna structure this video. I'm gonna show you the differences between the suits. I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of each of them as I see it. And I'm gonna show you how they fit, how they work uh, in the riding position on the motorcycle. So we'll get to that. So uh, let's start with the differences. Uh, let's start with price, right? Now, there's no getting around it. These are both expensive suits. However, they have some of the world's best protection and features that you can get in a motorcycle garment. And in my opinion, they're worth the money. I believe in high-end uh, riding gear because it's cheaper than hospital bills and it keeps you comfortable, dry, safe, and all that kind of stuff. So the price difference, the Carlsbad is coming in, I think now it's around 700 for the jacket and the Badlands is coming in around $1,100 for the jacket. So there's quite a bit of a price bump going up uh, between these two suits and the pants also have the price difference too. Uh, now, we'll talk about why, in a minute, why there's that price difference there and if it's worth it for your situation. Let's talk about the weight. So, the, the one thing people talk about with the Badlands is the weight of the jacket. The Badlands is a heavy garment. You can see my whole garment rack shifting <laughs> when I move it here. Um, now, why is it heavy? It's because of the construction, the impact and abrasion protection and features of the jacket, that's why. The Carlsbad is quite a bit lighter and it's very, very noticeable when putting each on that the Carlsbad is a much lighter piece of gear. Now, helping deal with that weight of the Badlands is it comes with a kidney belt, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, the, the Carlsbad does not come with a kidney belt, but you can add one to any climb jacket if you want that extra support to help support the weight of the jacket. I also like how the kidney belt helps suck in my gut. Not that I have a gut, but if I did, it would certainly help me suck it in. All right, let's take a look at the Badlands riding suit. Now, note on the sizing. So, I am uh, five foot 10, about 70, inches tall, 180 centimeters tall. I weigh between 190 to 200 pounds, depending on how my diet's going, uh, it, which is about 90 kilograms. I have a 32 inch leg inseam. So, um, <coughs> the sizing. So I am in a size 36 pant, and I wear a 36 jeans, so that seems to be consistent. And on the jacket, so I am between sizes with Climb. Now, according to their size chart, and any size chart you can get for Climb or their Fit Guide, I am a large. However, I found that the large, especially in this Badlands, tends to be a bit, a bit too bulky. Feel like a, there's a bit bunch of material here, and the sleeves can be just a touch long. However, if you wear a lot of layers underneath, then that could be a good thing. Now let's look at some of the pockets, ventilation and, and fit and everything like this. So for the vents, you can see I've got vents down here, I've got big vents, zip vents here, and they actually really do work. They flow a lot of air, but you have to be moving <coughs> for those vents to work. And on the jacket, you've got, you've got vents all over the place. And what I noticed with these newer Badlands is the, the zippers t don't tend to be as sticky as the older Badlands did. So I've got vents there. I've got a lot of vents. Um, and on the back, which you can't see right now, but if I spin around, so you can see all the ventilation. Now pockets, 
Beware on the pockets that a lot of the pockets are not waterproof. So these sort of hand warmer pockets here, uh, they're not waterproof. You want to put any sensitive electronics or wallets uh, inside the Gore-Tex membrane, which would be some of these more internal pockets here. I have to be careful about this because the microphone's going to get messed up if I take this off. All right, let me jump up on the bike and show you how this works sitting and standing. Oops. <laughs> All right, so here's one of the things that I don't love about the climb sizing, and especially this Badlands. You can see that, um, like what's going on here? Why is there all this material like puffing out in the stomach? Um, I guess if you had a huge beer gut, this could be helpful, but it just seems like there's too much. So I'm actually gonna go down a size in this jacket to a medium to see if that helps. There is a zipper here on the bottom, which you can kind of undo to help with some of that, but it still seems to be too much bulk in this area. Now, you can see the pants also, when you have the zipper open, tends to get kind of bulky, but it does flow air. Now, you can see the position here uh, for standing up. Now, this is not a riding instruction video, but please don't stand like this. That's not how you stand on an adventure bike. Um, for standing up, it feels good. It, it, everything seems to come into place and uh, have no issues with it. All right, let's talk about abrasion resistance. So there's differences in how these jackets are constructed. The Carlsbad is using uh, Cordura on, for the entire construction. The Badlands, and you can get all the specific jargon of this on the Climb website if you want to really delve into it. So I'm not gonna geek out too much. So you've got a Cordura construction on that jacket. The Badlands uses a mixture of the Ripstop Cordura, but it also incorporates what is called a super fabric material. The super fabric you can see on the elbows, on the shoulders, in the high uh, abrasion areas. It's a very, very strong and very expensive, also that's reflected in the price, very strong and very expensive material that is extremely resistant uh, to abrading down if you were to slide on the asphalt. You don't get that with the Carlsbad. So if you're doing a lot of higher speed riding on the road, doing a lot of touring, uh, the Badlands is definitely going to have a lot better abrasion resistance for those high speed crashes on the highway, God forbid, than the Carlsbad does. Now, let's move on to impact protection. So impact is what if you take an impact uh, when you're riding either on-road or off-road. Off-road, you tend to take spills all the time. That's part of riding off-road. So the newer Carlsbads, uh, if you had an old Carlsbad, they had CE Level 1 armor. The newest version has CE Level 2. That was an amazing upgrade. Very, very good of climb, climb to do that. Now, here's where the difference comes in. The Badlands is also CE Level 2, but the difference in the Badlands is that the armor is limb specific and it's larger coverage. So I've taken these pieces out, I've looked at them and I'll put some photos or videos here. But the, yeah, the coverage uh, uh, and the construction of the armor in the Badlands is much bigger and beefier and it's also limb specific so it fits uh, better than the stuff in the Carlsbad. The Carlsbad is still good, it's still that level two protection, but you get more in the Badlands. And that accounts for some of the weight and bulk difference. Now, all, the other thing in the Badlands, which I wanna point out, is that you have pockets for chest armor. They come with sort of a, a lightweight foam armor in the chest pockets right here. But uh, I recommend, and what I do, is I put in a, a CE rated actual chest pads, which you can buy online, that goes in those pockets. One, my, one of my chief complaints about the Carlsbad is I really like to have chest armor when I'm riding off road, but I don't wanna to have to wear a pressure suit like dirt bikers do. And I wish the Carlsbad had provision for that, pocket for that, but it does not, unfortunately. So that's a big difference here going with the Badlands. All right, so here's my Carlsbad suit. Now, what do you notice right away, or what do I notice right away? It feels like half the weight and the bulk of the Badlands. That's one of the things I love about this suit. However, you are giving up some of that protection. Now, uh, the fit. So, there's a big difference here. This jacket is a size medium. Now, I prefer the more slim fit of the size medium, even though Ba according to climb, I am in a size large based on my dimensions. So you're gonna have to take into account whether you want that slimmer fit or a bulkier fit, how much you layer, if you plan to lose weight or gain weight, all those sorts of things. But I like this medium, it just fits me like a glove and still allows me to move around enough. Now the pants are the same as the Badlands. They're a size 36 pants, I wear a size 36 jeans. Ventilation, you have smaller ventilation here on the uh, Carlsbad, but again, because it's a less bulky, less heavy garment, the vents actually work pretty well as compared to the Badlands. Ventilation on the jacket, you have the arm zips, 
You have torso vents here as well. And of course you have vents in the back. What you don't have are vents on the biceps here, uh, which are kind of nice to have on the Badlands, although they contribute to that kind of more sticky or bulky feeling that the Badlands can have. Now in terms of pockets and storage, so you do have the hand warmer pockets. I love having pockets like this because when you're standing around at the coffee shop with your, with your BMW, uh, you, you want to put your hands in your pockets. So there you go. Um, the pants, of course, have the pockets too. Um, overall, uh, this just feels like a much slimmer suit. Now again, with the same thing with the waterproof pockets, make sure you know which profits, pockets are waterproof. These exterior pockets here are not going to be waterproof for you. Now let me uh, get on the bike, show you how it looks when you're on the bike. So, well, the bike wants to kind of tip over. So uh, sitting down, you can see overall, I don't have that puffy stomach feeling that I got with the Badlands. Although again, this is medium and that's a large. So I guess I'm gonna have to stick to medium with the climb stuff. Um, you can see the seating position is good and then standing position as well. Um, feels very good, feels very mobile. It just feels like more off-road oriented gear uh, than the Badlands does. All right, so how do the suits compare in terms of ventilation? Now, this is a tricky area. So on the surface, the Badlands has a lot more vents, right? You've got, you've got multiple vents on the torso. You've got vents in the bicep on the front and the back of the bicep with the Badlands doesn't have. You have more venting. But because the Badlands is a heavier duty construction uh, and, the, and the Carlsbad is so much lighter, uh, even though the Carlsbad has less physical vents, the Carlsbad, in my opinion, wears a just slightly cooler in warm weather than the Badlands does because of its overall lighter weight construction. So I hope that makes sense. Now, the effectiveness of the vents depends on a couple things, how fast you're moving. They don't work well at super low speeds. That's why dirt bikers don't wear jackets, usually, uh, unless it's raining or cold. Uh, and also, you know, how is the fit of your jacket? If you have an extremely tight fitting jacket, it's not going to really get much air going between the, your jacket and the torso. Um, and then in terms, uh, and then if it's looser fitting, you're going to have a little bit more. So, so the ventilation depends on that. But overall, the Carlsbad, I think, is just slightly, maybe just slightly better in the hot weather. Also, I should point out that on the newest edition of the Badlands pants, which you see over there, the Badlands are these lighter gray pants, the Carlsbad are the darker gray pants, they're all the way to, to your right. Uh, the Badlands have uh, an additional leg vent on the new version down below, kind of on your lower leg, where the Carlsbad just has that one vent kind of up, up uh, by your hip. So that's something to note. Now, what about waterproofing? Waterproofing is a big, is a big thing. They're both, go that's one of the reasons why you're looking at either of these suits. They're waterproof and they are waterproof. I've, I've tested that, uh, you know, they work for people all around the world in wet conditions. There's a different membrane. So Gore-Tex uh, Gore uh, issues different membranes, different levels at different price levels and, and different uh, water permeability. Um, so the Badlands uses an upgraded version of that. And again, the specific jargons on Climb's website, the Carlsbad uses a lesser version of it. They're both waterproof, but supposedly the Gore-Tex on the Badlands Pro is more waterproof and also more breathable than the one on the Carlsbad. I haven't found there to be a huge noticeable difference from my point of view in that, but you are paying and getting, you are paying for and getting a little bit better Gore-Tex membrane, the Gore-Tex Pro membrane on the Badlands Pro. All right, well, I sincerely hope all the information in this video has been very useful. If there's something I missed, if you have questions, comments, concerns, put that down below in, a, in the comments and I will definitely follow up with you. Now, a lot of people are gonna want me to choose a favorite. I don't really have a favorite. Honestly, uh, the Badlands is a nice feeling to wear because you know you have the ultimate in protection if you are to have an accident. However, the Carlsbad, honestly, is a bit more comfortable. It, it feels like you're wearing less stuff, less bulky, less weight. Um, so it's just a trade-off. I like both of them. If you force me to choose one, I'm probably going to go with the Badlands just because I kind of err towards that, that higher level of, of protection. And I like the improvements that they've kind of made on this newest version of the Badlands versus the older version. So they're both amazing suits. They're both worth worthy of your investment. I wouldn't be showing them here if I didn't personally use these products and believe in these products. So anyway, hope it's been useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please support Big Rock Moto and please don't forget to use my links when you're shopping for any sorts of riding gear parts. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please ride safe and I'll see you out there.